Welcome to this new tutorial. Today we will create this little scene here in Spline. Let's have a look and jump right in. Yeah, let's start a new fresh Spline scene. Uh, we don't need this rectangle here, so let's delete this and I want to go into the perspective mode. Let's bring in a cube to the center. Uh, 0 by 0 by 0. We want to change the size now to 100 by 200 by 25. We need in the X and Y two sides and the corner goes to 0 and the corner sides to 1. Let's hop into smooth and edit and let's turn down the level to 0. And now we can uh, switch here over to the edge mode. Select uh, the upper right and a left edge. And now we want to go here into the front view and bring uh, these two edges down. Uh, let's do this with the bottom left and right edge. Uh, front view again. And let's put this one here up right to the center. Now we want to switch over to the face mode and select here these faces. And now we have to select or go to the inset. Press on this sphere here to bring uh, the selection a little bit to the center. And now we have to press here on this little sphere and bring the stuff a little bit here to the front. Now we're having here our jam. Let's rename this one to jam. Now we want to create some rocks. So let's bring in a new cube and bring them to zero as well. Let's change the sides to two by two by two. Want to turn down the corner to zero and the corner sides to one. Let's go to smooth and edit and change the level here to zero as well. Okay, now let's hop into the sculpt mode and we want to change this here now to a little low poly rock. So let's go to the grab and let's try this to change this a little bit here. Something like this uh, looks cool. So let's leave here the sculpt mode and the edit mode. And I want to go here now to the cloner mode. Bring this here to the radial and bring the radius a little bit down. We have to change this here now to minus 90. So this one is more horizontally. Uh, we don't need here uh, the base. Maybe let's bring this a little bit here together. And I want to enable here the randomness and let's go to the rotation. Play a little bit here with uh, these settings. Maybe to something like this and we can play with the scale here as well. Maybe let's see something like this or we need another one. I think something like this is cool. Now let's rename this here to rock. The last thing which we need is a plane. So let's put this here into the center. This one goes to a zero by minus 115 by a zero. The size is 2000 by 2000 and one by one right okay let's bring back our stuff so let's bring back here our rocks and we have to put this a little bit down maybe to something like this and let's bring in here the gem and this one goes a little bit up maybe to something like this and now we can go ahead to create the materials here Let's select the jam and yeah, we want to change here the color to in to tune. Yeah, let's go here into the settings and we want to change this gradient here a little bit. So let's go with the second slider here, change this to a purplish color. The third goes into a bluish color and the last one is a light blue one. And that's now the tune settings here and uh, we need another one which is a uh, matcap. So let's press on the plus and go to matcap. Let's bring this here in between. And we can press here on this button and bring this to screen. I want to change this here now to the matcap 4. 
and we're having a little bit more reflections here going on. Let's bring this lightning here now to screen as well and 100. The last thing is we need a glass. So let's bring this on top here. Uh, let's select screen and we want to go here now with 8 by minus 100 by two that's all for the jam let's go and select the rocks here in the material for the rocks we can put the color over the lightning i want to bring this here a little bit to something white grayish put this one here on overlay and we can increase here the lightning to 80. that's all for the rocks let's select here the plane and for this one we want to change here now the color to uh, gradient and this one is a uh, radial let's change this to smooth and the first color is now a light bluish color and the second one is a dark bluish color and now we can go back here to the orthographic view change a little bit the camera angle now we don't need here this direct light so let's uh, delete this instead we want to bring in a point light Let's put this a little bit up and now we want to change the color here to something like bluish and let's turn down the distance to 500. Let's change the background we can press here on the sidebar or here on this gray area. We want to select here now with this uh, ink picker uh, the edge of our plane and now we want to go back here to the plane and change the gradient to 50. We're having a little bit translucent effect here and we can see a little bit more the rocks and that looks a little bit like something like water. Okay, and the last thing is now let's go here into the settings. We want to bring in the effects and the bloom. Let's change here the intensity to 0.5, the blur scale to 0.3, leave the threshold like it is and the smoothing to 0.5. Three. Let's animate here the gem and we can do this by going here into the states, press on the plus and the base state is where it started. Let's change the state here now to the uh, second position. So let's go to this. Let's go to events and let's leave it on start and we want to make a transition. So let's select here now base state and we want to go to the state we want to use something like five seconds and we want to have a loop infinite and cycle is ping pong and let's press here on this one maybe five is a little bit too much <laughs> let's go here with two so we can see this a little bit more and as we can see we have a little bit here of a shadow because uh, the light is on the same position and to fix this we can put the point light into the gem and now when we are playing this there is no shadow here on this one yeah we are having here now a smooth animation okay, that was the tutorial here for this gem we created a gem here out of a cube we created <laughs> some rocks out of a cube and yeah we created some materials for the whole scene if you like this one please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next tutorial see you there and bye